Cherry Berry too They're seeking of monsters There are a few And Alphabet Garden Is the monster's home But they like to wonder They love to roam ABC Monsters ABC Monsters Just look and see ABC Monsters ABC Monsters Here for you and me everyone, and welcome to another beautiful sunny morning in Capital Town. I wonder if anything special is happening in Capital Castle today. Let's take a look and see. Here comes Bee Monster. He's carrying a plastic bucket. And here's S Monster. She has a spade. Hey, look over there. It's King Wordy and Queen Scribble. Could I have everybody's attention, please? I have a very important announcement. It gives me great pleasure to declare the Capital Castle Sand Pit now open. Oh dear, it's empty. How will the ABC Monsters be able to play in the sandpit without any sand? It gives me no pleasure to declare the Capital Castle sandpit now closed until further notice. So the crowd wander off, leaving only Alice, Brian and Cherryberry. That's when Alice notices something. Look at this! It's a spade! I wonder who it belongs to. Perhaps one of the ABC monsters has disappeared and left it behind. Oh, I hope not. Let's check and make sure that everyone's here. So, with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. ABC Monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? Q R T U Hmm, that sounds strange. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is S. Oh no! The spade belonged to S Monster. She's vanished. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find her. The clue says, Sammy Snake is looking for a woolly object that you wear on your foot. The ABC book is telling us to go south. Let's go! <laughs> so before long, Alice, Brian and Cherryberry found themselves walking up a steep hill. Phew, I'm tired. I'm cold. It's chilly up here. I'm hungry. You're, You're always, always hungry. hungry. Let's rest over there. Ah, that's better. I'm still hungry. And I'm still cold. Suddenly, the three friends heard a strange noise. Shh! Listen, can you hear that noise? It's not me. Nor me. So if it's not you, and it's not you, who's making the noise? Sammy Snake! That's right. Sorry for the noise. My teeth are chattering with the cold. Poor Sammy. We've been looking for you. Really? Why? We're hoping that you can help us find S-Monster. Have you seen her? Yes, I've seen S-Monster. 
She gave me one of her th- body thoughts to keep me warm, but I lost it. Maybe we can help. Great. If you can find my body th- thought, I'll give you a clue to help you find a th- monster. Look very carefully and see if you can help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find Sammy Snake's spotty sock. Is it by the bushes? On the rocks? With the goat? The sheep? Or maybe even the hedgehog? Look carefully. Well spotted! You found Sammy Snake's spotty sock. Thank you. Wow, now I feel snug and warm inside my spotty woolly sock. Sock! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said Sammy Snake is looking for a woolly object that you wear on your foot. Sock! S O C K! Sock! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle! I have another that will take you even closer to finding S Monster. Susie, the street sweeper, is very dirty and needs a special object to get nice and clean. Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Sammy Snake and continued on their journey. Where are we? We're on the far edge of Capital Town, near the beach. Just then, Brian threw his empty crisp packet at the litter bin, but missed. The crisp packet was then swept along on the wind and carried down the street. Uh, sorry, that's mine. You do know that litter lives in the litter bins, don't you? What are you doing? I'm a street sweeper. I sweep the streets with my brush to keep them neat, tidy, and litter-free. Unfortunately, keeping everywhere clean gets me dirty. So now I need to go home and have a bath. Have you seen S Monster today? Yes, she gave me a lovely new bar of soap. But a spider ran away with it, and now I can't have my bath. Don't worry, Susie. We'll help you find your bar of soap. Let's help Susie find her bar of soap. Remember, the spider has the soap. Is this a spider? No, it's a beautiful butterfly. Is this a spider? No, that's a honeybee. What about this insect? Could this be a spider? No, that's a beetle. Is this the spider we're looking for? That's right, it's a spider. Look, he's sitting on the missing bar of soap. Well done. Oh, thank you. Now I'll be able to have a nice hot bath with my bar of soap. Soap. That's the answer to the second clue. Susie the street sweeper is very dirty and needs a special object to get nice and clean. Soap. S O A P. Soap. Thank you for helping me. I think you might find this clue very useful in tracking down S Monster. S Monster has gone to the beach to find this very important yellow material. I'm going home to have my bath. Good luck finding S Monster. Thank you, Susie. So Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Susie the street sweeper and continued on their way. We've made it to the beach. I wonder where S Monster could be. Yes, there's lots of people here. S Monster will be hard to spot. We'll have to look very carefully. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry find S Monster? Shout out as soon as you see her. Ready? Is she lying on the beach, playing volleyball, or having fun in the sea? 
Can you see S monster yet? Well done! You found her! Hello, S monster! Hello, everyone! What are you doing here at the beach? I came to get some sand for the Capital Castle sand pit. But I forgot to bring my spade. Now, I can't fill up the seven sacks I brought with me. Don't worry, S monster. I'm sure with Cherry Berry's help, we'll soon have your seven sacks filled with sand. Can you help count the sacks as they are filled with sand? Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, thank you. We'll all be able to play in the sand pit. Now that we've got some sand. Sand, of course. That's what the final clue meant. S Monster has gone to the beach to find this very important yellow material. The yellow material was sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found S Monster. Hooray! Back at Alphabet Garden, all the ABC monsters were having a great time in the sand pit. All thanks to S Monster. My castle's a big hit in a new sand pit. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Today, we're going to find out about a super letter, the letter S. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, S Monster. Hello, S Monster. S Monster loves songs, so we're all going to sing a brand new song just for her. Are you ready? <laughs> Washing her hands with a bar of soap. <laughs> soap can be very slippy sometimes. Look, here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter the soap bubbles have changed into? That's right, it's the letter S. S. All together now, say it with me. S. <laughs> Look at S Monster. She's playing with her bubbly letter S. Let's see if you can write the letter S with S Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil? Okay then. We're drawing a big S. That's right. Well done. Let's try and do another big S. You've just written the letter S. <laughs> S Monster's very happy because we can all write her favorite letter, 
S. Now that we all know how to write the letter S, take a look at the following words that begin with... <laughs> That's right! S! Do you know what piece of clothing this is called? Here's a clue. It's woolly and it keeps your feet warm. You're probably wearing one underneath your shoe. Have you worked out what it is yet? Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a sock! Sock! S-O-C-K Sock! That's right! Let's say it one more time. Sock! S-O-C-K Sock! Ready for another puzzle? Okay, here's another one for you. Can you guess what this object is? You use it to wash your face and hands. And you just saw S monster using one in Alphabet Garden earlier. Do you know what it's called? That's right! It's called soap! Now let's see what the word soap looks like. Soap. S-O-A-P. Soap. Brilliant! Let's say that again. Soap. S. O A P So, you've answered both questions correctly. Let's see if you can solve the third and final question. Here it is. Take your time and think carefully. Do you know what this yellow stuff is called? Here's a clue. You find lots of it at the beach. And if you've got a bucket and spade, you can make a castle out of it. Have you worked out what it's called? That's right! It's sand! And here's what the word sand looks like. Say it with me. Sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. That's right! Let's say it together once more. Sand. S-A-N-D. Sand. Can you think of any more super words that begin with the letter S? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Hi kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up! Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun! That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the S Monster exercise. Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big S. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Shall we try that again? A big S! That's it! Now that you know the S monster move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four, and three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! That was fun! Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Okay then. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Brilliant! You successfully completed the S monster move. Let's have a short rest to get our breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look, everybody. It's Sammy the Snake. Hello, Sammy. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, Sammy? I'm so very cold. I'm trying to find my sock so I can keep warm. It's on the hill somewhere. But I can't figure out where I left it. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll help you find your sock. Can you help Sammy the Snake find his sock? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. 
Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it A, T, or the letter V? That's right! The correct letter is A. Soap. S O A P. Soap. You solved the first word correctly, but can you work out this next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter P? S? Or Q. That's right! The letter we need to put into the box is S. Sand. S A N D. Sand. Well done! Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it O, V, or could it be the letter B? Brilliant answer! You successfully picked the correct letter again. The letter O. Well done! Three out of three. Sock. S, O, C, K. Sock. Well done! You've cleverly guided Sammy the Snake to his sock. Thank you for finding my sock. Now I'm lovely and warm. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter of the day, Super S. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, S Monster. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Seeking out monsters, there are a few. And Alphabet Garden is the monster's home. But they like to wonder, they love to roam. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, just look and see. ABC Monsters, ABC Monsters, here for you and me. everyone, and welcome to another exciting day in Capital Town. Hmm, the sign says that there is an eagle exhibition at Capital Castle. That sounds like fun. Let's take a look and see. There's our old friend, Bee Monster. He's looking through a pair of binoculars. I wonder what he's looking at. And here's Alice, Brian, and T-Monster, taking turns looking through T-Monster's telescope. There's C-Monster. He's with Queen Scribble. Queen Scribble has spotted something in the sky. Look, 
It's Edmund the Eagle Trainer. And here's Emma the Eagle. Wonderful display, Edmund. Thank you, King Wordy. To finish off the show, Emma's gonna fly around Alphabet Garden, then loop the loop before landing back in my glove. Oh no! Emma has flown away. I wonder where Emma the Eagle went. She should have come back by now. Let's search Alphabet Garden. Maybe Emma is hiding somewhere. That's a good idea, Alice. So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry and all the ABC monsters looked for Emma Eagle in Alphabet Garden. They looked and looked and looked. But there was no sign of Emma the Eagle. We've searched everywhere. She's not here. Oh, Alice, dear. You'd better assemble the ABC monsters and we'll decide what to do. Great! I love assembling the ABC monsters. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Look carefully. One of the ABC monsters is missing. But can you guess which one it is? C, D, F, G, hmm. This is a hard one. Oh, I know! That's right! The missing letter is E. Oh no! E Monster has disappeared! We'll have to find E Monster first. Then look for Emma the Eagle. Let's look in the ABC book and see if it can help. The clue says this is the name of a large animal with a long trunk. Look, the ABC book is telling us to go south. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry had been walking for quite some time when suddenly... Did you hear that loud noise? Yes, I wonder what it was. It sounded like the noise came from over there. Look, everybody. It's Zoe the zookeeper. Hello, Zoe. What are you doing here? Yeah, shouldn't you be at the zoo today? Yeah, but Eric the elephant has wandered off from the zoo again. I'm trying to find him. Finding elephants should be easy. They're huge. Would you like to help me look for him? I spoke to E-Monster earlier, and she said she saw Eric the elephant in this field. We'd love to help. Great, and I'll make sure that you get a reward. Eric the Elephant is somewhere in this field. Don't worry, Zoe. We'll find him. Can you help Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry find Eric the Elephant? Is he by the barn? Is he hiding in the hay? Is he near the tractor or behind the trees? Maybe he's hiding down the water well. Well done! You found Eric the Elephant. Thank you for finding Eric. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to lose such a big elephant. Elephant! That's it! Elephant is the answer to the ABC book's clue. This is the name of a large animal with a long trunk. Elephant! E... L E P H A N T Elephant! We solved the first puzzle! Excellent! And as a reward, here's another clue for you to solve. This is the name of a big bird with a long neck. Good luck solving your new clue! I hope you find E-Monster soon! And so Alice, 
Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Zoe and Eric the elephant and continued on their journey. Hey, maybe the big bird is Emma the eagle. But I thought eagles had short necks. Look, everyone. It's Mr. Evans. Hmm. Mr. Evans looks confused. I wonder why. Hello, Mr. Evans. Hello, everyone. What are you doing outside your house? I'm searching for an emu. E-monster said it's somewhere in my garden. I think it belongs to Farmer Alex. E-monster? But we're looking for her. Well, if you help me find the emu so I can return it to Farmer Alex, I'll give you a clue that will lead you straight to E-monster. Brilliant! We'll soon find that emu, Mr. Evans. The emu is somewhere in Mr. Evans' garden. Can you see him? Is the emu near the flowers? By the apple tree? In the greenhouse? Or next to the wheelbarrow? Well done! You found the emu hiding next to the wheelbarrow. Wonderful! Now I'll be able to return Farmer Alex's emu. Emu! That's the answer to the second clue. This is the name of a big bird with a long neck. Emu. E M U. Emu. Because you were all so clever, I'm going to give you another clue that will lead you to E Monster. E Monster is with something that baby birds hatch from. I'm sure you'll solve that little puzzle in no time. So Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Mr. Evans and the emu and continued on their way. We've been walking for ages. Yes, my feet feel like they're going to fall off. We must be close to finding E-Monster. But where can she be? Look, it's E-Monster. Hello, everyone. Hello, E-Monster. What are you doing here? I found Emma the Eagle. In an electrical shop? No, silly. But I needed something out of the electrical shop before I can bring Emma back. I'm very confused. <laughs> Don't worry. Come with me to the park and I'll explain everything. Emma is in the park. Can you see her? I can't see her anywhere. Me neither. Are you sure Emma is here? She's definitely in this part of the park. Look carefully. Can you see Emma the eagle? Shout out when you spot her. Well done. You found Emma the eagle. What is Emma doing in the tree? She's keeping her egg warm. That's why she left the castle. Oh, I see. Emma didn't want her egg to get cold while she was away. That's right. That's why I was in the electrical shop to get this. It's an electric blanket. I thought it could keep Emma's egg warm while she's at the castle with Edmund. I just need to put this around the egg and switch it on. That's a fantastic idea. Thank you, Cherry Berry. Now the nest will be nice and warm for Emma's egg. Egg. That's the answer to the final clue. E-Monster is with something that baby birds hatch from. A baby bird hatches from an egg. E, G, G. Egg. Egg is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found E-Monster. Hooray! Later that day, everyone in Alphabet Garden watched a brilliant display from Emma the Eagle. Ooh! 
And because E Monster found such a brilliant solution to Emma the Eagle's problem, she chose E Monster's glove to land on at the end of the show. Hooray! Eagle exhibitions are so exciting! Hello, everyone! Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry. Today, we'll be finding out about a truly exciting letter, the letter E. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, E Monster. Hello, E Monster. To start the show, let's sing one of E Monster's favorite songs. A song that is all about exciting E. Are you ready? discoveries we'll make today. Look, it's E-Monster. She's looking after an egg. I wonder what is inside it. Can you guess? Here comes Cherry Berry. Look, the egg is hatching. Do you know what letter is inside? That's right. It's the letter E. E. All together now, say it with me. E. E. <laughs> e Monster's got a new pet E to look after. Let's see how clever you are. Do you think that you can write the letter E? Well, let's all try and write it with E Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big E. Hey, that's really good. Let's do it again. A big E. E. Excellent. You did it. E. <laughs> Look, E Monster. She's really pleased because she can now write her favorite letter, E. Now that we know how to write the letter E, let's take a look at the following words that begin with, you guessed it, the letter E. Do you know what this animal is called? It's very large and has a long trunk. Shout out the answer as loud as you can. That's right! It's called an elephant. Elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Elephant. Well done! Let's say it one more time. Elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. T. Elephant. Did you enjoy that? Okay, here's another one for you to solve. Here's another type of animal. Can you guess what it's called? Here's a clue. This animal is a very large type of bird that can run very fast but cannot fly. That's right! It's an emu. Now let's see what the word emu looks like. Emu. E-M-U. Emu. That 
That was easy, wasn't it? Let's do it again. Emu. E M U. Emu. You're doing a great job. You've got the first two questions right. But can you answer the last question? Can you tell me what this strange looking object is? It has an oval shape and a smooth, hard shell. Have you worked out what it is yet? That's right! It's an egg! And here's what the word egg looks like. Say it with me. Egg. E G G. Egg. That's right! Let's say it together one more time. Egg. E G G. Egg. Can you think of any more interesting words that begin with the letter E? I hope you're feeling fit and active because it's time for another fun packed ABC monster move. Hi, kids! Are you ready to get fit? Let's see you standing up. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. That's great! It's time to get fit with the ABC Monsters. And today, we'll be doing the E Monster exercise. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big E. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready to do it again? A big E. That's right. Now you know the move, we can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Are you out of breath yet? No? Okay then, let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. That's fantastic. You're very good at doing the E monster exercise. Let's take a short break before we start your next challenge, the ABC Monster Quest. Look who it is! It's Eric the Elephant. He must be lost. Zoe the Zookeeper will be very worried. Don't worry, E-Monster. We'll help Eric the Elephant get back home to the zoo. Can you help Eric find his way back to the zoo? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide Eric along the path. Listen carefully to the following answers. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the box? Is it U, T, or is it O? That's right! The correct letter is U. Emu. E M U. Emu. Well done! You correctly worked out the first word. Okay then, can you solve the next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter J, P, or is it E? Correct again! The letter we need to put into the box is E. Egg. E G G. Egg. What an excellent answer. <laughs> Here's the final puzzle. Are you ready to complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it Q? T? Maybe it's F. Fantastic. You've picked the correct letter again. We needed the letter T. Well done! Elephant E-L-E-P-H-A-N 
N T. Elephant. Congratulations! You successfully guided Eric the Elephant to the zoo. Eric the Elephant has come home. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about exciting E. So let's finish today's show with a tune. Get ready to sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, E Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Don't forget to join us again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. Everyone, it's another fantastic day in Capital Town. I wonder what the ABC monsters are doing today in Alphabet Garden. Shall we take a look and see? I wonder where everybody is. Hmm, it's very quiet. What was that? It sounded like a whistle. It's King Wardy. He was the person blowing the whistle. Of course, it's a volleyball game. And Brian was hitting the volleyball over the net. S-Monster has hit the ball to her teammate, Cherry Bear. She scored! That was a good shot, wasn't it? Well done, Cherry Berry. It's Alice. I didn't know she liked to play volleyball. Well done, Brian. That was a super shot. Look, everybody. Come and see what I found. The monster has found a vole. Voles look a lot like mice and are often mistaken for them. Luckily, King Wordy knows exactly what it is. It's a little vole. Oh, dear. He's got a bump on his head. We'll have to help him. We'll have to think of a way to help the little vole. Does anyone have any ideas? We can give him some orange or cuddle him until he feels better. We can play with him. Maybe that will make him feel better. Hmm. Since V Monster found the vole, I think he should decide what would be the best thing to do. V Monster? Where is he? Quick, Alice. You'd better gather the ABC monsters and check that they are all here. Just leave it to us. So with a wave of Cherry Berry's gesture stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song. ABC Monsters is missing. But can you guess which one? T U W 
W-X. Hmm, that sounds odd. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is V. V monster is missing. Let's see if the ABC book knows where we can find him. The clue says, Vicky Valentine is looking for a vehicle that can store a lot of stuff. The ABC book is telling us to go east. Come on, everyone, let's go! Alice, Ryan, and Cherryberry soon found themselves in town, heading straight for the supermarket. We're near the supermarket. My mom does her shopping there. Who's that in the car park? It's Vicky Valentine. Let's go and say hello. Wow, Vicky has a lot of shopping, doesn't she? Hello, Vicky. Hello. Have you been to the supermarket, Vicky? Yes, and now I need to load all the shopping in my van. But there are so many cars here, I can't find it. Oh dear, maybe we can help you. Well, I met V Monster earlier, and he said he saw my van in this part of the car park. That's a coincidence. We're looking for V Monster. If we can find your van for you, maybe you can give us a clue to help us find V Monster. That's a great idea. And I've got a perfect clue for you. Can you find Vicky's van? It's big, green, and looks a bit like a box on wheels. Well done! You found Vicky's green van. Thank you for all your help, especially for finding my van. Van! That's the answer to the clue. The ABC book said, Vicky Valentine is looking for a vehicle that can store a lot of stuff. Van! V-A-N! Van! Hooray! We solved the first puzzle. And here's a second puzzle for you. This is the name of an instrument that you play under your chin. I'd better take this shopping home in my lovely green bag. Good luck finding V Monster! Alice, Ryan, and Cherryberry waved goodbye to Vicky Valentine and continued on their journey. Alice, Ryan, and Cherryberry hadn't been walking for too long when Alice said, Look, it's my school! And who's that near the school gates? It's Mr. Vickery, my music teacher. Mr. Vickery is lots of fun. Come and meet him. Hello, Alice. And what are you and your friends doing here? School doesn't start until tomorrow. <laughs> You're a little early. <laughs> We're not coming to school, Mr. Vickery. We're looking for our friend V-Monster. Have you seen him? Yes, I have. He helped me take all the instruments into the new music room. He's gone now, but I know where he was going. Is he nearby? If you children can help me with the music puzzle, I'll give you a clue that will lead you straight to V-Monster. We love puzzles. Especially musical ones. What do you want us to do? Come with me to the new music room and I'll show you. Welcome to the new music room. Wow, it's very nice, Mr. Vickery. I can't wait to have my music lessons in here. Do you see that row of instruments? Yes! Okay, here's my musical puzzle. I'm giving a violin lesson very soon, and I would like you to tell me which of these instruments is the violin. Here's a clue. You play the violin using this bow. Can you solve Mr. Vickery's musical puzzle? A violin is a small wooden stringed instrument. Do you think you can find it? Look closely and shout out if you see Mr. Vickery's violin. Can you see the violin yet? Well done! You've picked the correct musical instrument. The violin was on the end. Excellent! You picked the right instrument, and this is what it sounds like. Hooray! 
You can play a lot of great tunes on an old violin. Violin! That's the answer to the second clue. This is the name of an instrument that you play under your chin. Violin. V I O L I N. Violin. Because you've been very clever, I'll give you the final clue that will lead you to V Monster. V Monster has taken the vole to an animal doctor. It's nearly time for my violin lesson, so good luck finding V Monster. Thank you, Mr. Vickery. So Alice, Brian, and Cherry Berry waved goodbye to Mr. Vickery and went off to find an animal doctor. Alice and Brian were a little confused by the last clue. An animal doctor? What are they called? And where would you find one? Don't worry. I think I know exactly where to find an animal doctor. Follow me. Cherryberry led her friends to a very important building. Here we are. Where are we? This is where sick animals come to get better. Look. See? The dog is going inside to see the animal doctor. Well, what are we doing hanging around outside? Let's go in. Oh dear, I can't see the monster anywhere. Maybe we're in the wrong place. Just then, the door opened. Guess who it was? That's right. It was the monster. He's here. Hello, everyone. What are you doing here, V Monster? I've come to see my friend Vince. Vince is the local vet. He's kind of a doctor for animals. So I thought I'd bring the vole around to see him. Is he going to be okay? Oh yes. Your vole just had a small bump on the head. I've bandaged it for him. The good news is that he'll be back to normal very soon. Thanks to Vince the vet. Vet, that's it. V Monster has taken the vole to an animal doctor. An animal doctor is called a vet. V E T. Vet. Vet is the answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles. Met new friends and found V Monster. Hooray! <laughs> Back at Alphabet Garden, Beanie Monster was having a wonderful time playing with his new pet, Vole. The Vole looks a lot better now that he's been to the vet. Well done, Beanie Monster. Hooray! I've got a great pet since I visited the vet. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. And say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we're going to find out about the letter V. But first, we'll need the help of a special member of the Brainy Gang, V Monster. Here he is. V Monster enjoys singing, so we're all going to sing his favorite song. Are you ready? Monster V, who's very healthy and fit 
who this is? It's V Monster, and he's looking after Vicky Valentine's van. Here comes Cherry Berry. Can you work out what letter this is? That's right. It's the letter V. V. All together now. Say it with me. V. <laughs> Look at V Monster. He's trying to catch his letter V. Let's see if you can write the letter V with V Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then. We're drawing a big V. Well done. That's looking really good. Let's try and do another one, shall we? A big V. Wonderful. A perfect V. <laughs> Look at V Monster. He's very happy because he can now write his favorite letter, V. Now we know how to write the letter V. Take a look at the following words that begin with V. Do you know what this vehicle is called? Here is a clue. It looks like a car that is bigger. It has a square shape and you can store lots of boxes inside. It's often used to deliver things. Shout out the answer if you know. That's right! It's a van! Van. V. A. N. Van. That's right. Let's say it one more time. Van. V. A. N. Van. Okay. Here's another puzzle for you to solve. Can you guess what this instrument is called? It's made of wood and has strings. You hold it under your chin and it's played with a bow. Have you worked it out yet? That's right! It's a violin! Now let's see what the word violin looks like. Violin. V-I-O-L-I-N. Violin. Well done. Let's say that again. Violin. V-I-O-L-I-N. Violin. You've got the first two questions right. Let's see if you can answer the final question. Are you ready? This is Vince. He has a special job. Can you tell me what he is called? Here's a clue. He works with animals and makes them better when they are ill. It's another name for an animal doctor. Have you worked out the answer yet? That's right! Vince is a vet. And here's what the word vet looks like. Say it with me. Vet. V-E-T. Vet. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Vet. V-E-T. Vet. Can you think of any more words that begin with the letter V? Everyone in the Brainy Gang needs to keep fit and active. So get ready for another fun-packed ABC Monster Move! Welcome everybody! Stand up if you want to have some fun! Now, clap your hands in the air like this! Excellent! Let's get active with the ABC Monsters! Today, we'll be doing the B Monster Exercise! Watch Brian closely as he shows you what to do. It's easy. If Brian can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your body to make a big V. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready to do it again? A big V. Now you know the move. We can all do it together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again. Are you ready? One. 
You've just done the V monster move. Now let's take a short break to get your breath back. Because next, it's the ABC Monster Quest. Look everybody, it's Vince the Vet. Hello Vince, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a vole. He's very sick. I need to give him some medicine to make him better, but I can't see him because he's hiding. Don't worry Vince, we'll help you find your vole. Can you help Vince the Vet find the vole? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide him along the path. Look carefully at the following letters. Can you tell me which one fits correctly in the box to make a word? Is it N, B or K? That's right! The correct letter is N. Van. V A N. Van. You got the first word right. But can you solve the next puzzle? Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter X, O, or Y? Right again. The letter we need to put into the box is O. Violin. V-I-O-L-I-N. Violin. Well done. Now for the final puzzle. Do you think you can complete it? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it E, D, or could it be the letter I? Brilliant answer! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter E. Well done! Three out of three. Vet. V, E, T. Vet. Excellent! You've successfully guided Vince the Vet to the foal. Thank you, everyone. Now I'll be able to make him better. Hooray! That's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about the letter V. But before we go, let's sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, V Monster. ABC. Fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. It's nearly lunchtime. Mmm, something smells yummy. I wonder what's cooking at Capital Castle. Hey, 
Hey, there's Colin the cook. He's making lunch for the ABC Monsters. Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry. We're here, Colin. I've got a bowl of pasta for P Monster, an apple pie for A Monster, and a bowl of hot and spicy curry for C Monster. We'll serve these straight away. I hope N Monster likes his new meal. It's a shame we ran out of his favorite noodles. Don't worry, Colin. We'll ask N Monster after we deliver these. Elsewhere in Alphabet Garden, the ABC Monsters are eating their lunch. There's J Monster. She's eating a tasty jam sandwich. E Monster and B Monster are eating eggs and bacon. And there's S Monster. She's munching on a big bowl of healthy salad. I wonder whose meal this is. What's wrong, Cherry Berry? I think one of the ABC monsters might be missing. Oh no, we need to check quickly. And with a wave of Cherry Berry's jester stick, all the ABC monsters line up in alphabetical order. Let's sing along to the ABC song and help Alice find the missing letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, The ABC Monsters is missing. Can you guess which one? L. M. O. P. Hmm. Oh, I know. That's right. The missing letter is N. N Monster is gone. Oh, no. Where could he have gone to? We have to find N Monster. Great. Let's start searching. Um, where do you think we should start looking? Let's look in the ABC book. The clue says, find a man who is looking for a bird's home. The ABC book is telling us to go northwest. Let's go! There's nobody here. Are you sure the ABC book is working properly? Of course it is. But it's up to us to find the person described in the clue. Okay then, let's split up and look around. I've searched everywhere and the only person I could find was Alice. <laughs> and I didn't need finding. Just then, Cherry Berry noticed something. I just noticed something. Over there. It looks like a hat. Let's see who's wearing it. Who do they find behind the hedge but their old friend? Nick Newman, the nighttime security guard. What are you doing here, Nick? I thought you only worked at night. Usually I do. But last night, I was nailing up a new no parking sign on this tree when suddenly I heard a thump that came from the floor. Ooh, what was the thump? A bird's nest containing baby chicks. It fell from the tree and rolled away. Now I can't find it. We'll find it for you. Wonderful. And if there's anything I can do for you in return, just name it. Well, we're looking for N Monster. Any clue you have that can help us find him would be great. It's a deal. Can you find the missing nest full of baby chicks? Look carefully and shout out when you see them. Can you see it yet? Well done! You found the nest! Thank you, everyone! The chicks in the nest are back where they belong. Nest! That's the answer to the clue! N E S T! Nest! It fits! 
Thanks to you, I'll finally be able to go home and get some sleep. Ah. Here's a clue to help you find N monster. Look for a fruit with a hard shell that grows on trees and is tasty to eat. Ah. I gotta get some sleep before I go to work tonight. So with a new clue to solve, Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry wave goodbye to Nick Newman, the nighttime security guard, and wished him sweet dreams. Alice, Brian and Cherry Berry were trying to work out what the second clue meant. Hmm, I've never come across a fruit with a hard shell before. Yes, this is a difficult clue to solve. Just then, Alice heard someone shout her name. Hello, Alice. Who said that? Over there, it's Nellie Neal. <laughs> Hello, Nellie. What you doing? I'm selling these tasty nuts. So what brings you to Nelson Market? We're looking for our friend and monster. He's gone missing. I saw him earlier. I gave him some nuts to eat. If you can help me fill up these sacks with nuts, I'll reveal a clue to help you find him. Nellie has nine sacks that need filling with nuts. Can you help to fill the sacks? Are you ready? Here we go! One sack. Two sacks. Three sacks. Four sacks. Five sacks. Six sacks. Seven sacks. Eight sacks. And here's the last one. Nine sacks. Well done. You've helped fill nine sacks of nuts for Nelly. Thank you for helping me with those sacks of nuts. It's amazing that trees grow so many of them. Nut! That is the answer to the second clue. Look for a fruit with a hard shell that grows on trees and is tasty to eat. A nut is a fruit which has a hard shell around it. So the answer is nut. N-U-T. Nut. We solved it. We're another step closer to finding N Monster. Maybe I can get you even closer with this clue. N Monster is eating his favorite food. Hope you find him soon. Thank you, Nelly. <laughs> Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry arrive at Nightingale Lane. Wow! Just one more clue to crack. Can you smell something? No. Mmm, <laughs> it smells yummy. The clue said, N Monster is eating his favorite food. He must be nearby. Can you help Cherry Berry sniff out N Monster? Take a big sniff like this. Smell the air with a sniff, sniff, sniff. There's a scent on the air, a whiff, whiff, whiff. Just follow the aroma wherever it goes and you'll find Ant Monster if you follow your nose. There he is! Ant Monster is outside Nancy's noodle shop. Well done! You've sniffed him out! <laughs> we found him! Hooray! Hello everyone! Are you hungry too? I wasn't, but that yummy smell is making my belly rumble. Me too! And me! Did you say you've got rumbly bellies? We can't have that! Hello, Nancy. These are my friends, Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Noodles are my favorite food, and Nancy makes the best in town. Hey! The last clue said, N Monster is eating his favorite food, and the answer is noodles. So... N O O D L E S. Noodles. Noodles is the 
answer to the final clue. We solved all the puzzles, met new friends, and found N Monster. Hooray! And because N Monster wanted everyone to try his favorite food, he asked Nancy to bring enough noodles for all the ABC monsters. Mmm, noodles are noodlicious. Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC Monsters Brainy Gang. Say hello to our friends Alice, Brian, and Cherryberry. Today, we will all be finding out about the letter N. Hello, N Monster. To start the show, let's sing one of N Monster's favorite songs. A song that is all about the letter N. Are you ready? What discoveries we'll make today? Look, it's N Monster. He's wearing a chef hat. And here comes Cherry Berry. Cherry Berry has turned the bowl of noodles into the letter N. N. All together now, say it with me. N. N. <laughs> Look at N Monster, always thinking of his stomach. Do you think you can write the letter N? Yes? Well, let's all try and write it with N Monster. Have you got your paper and pencil ready? Okay then, we're drawing a big N. Hey, that's really good. Let's do it again. A big N. Excellent, you did it. Look at N Monster! He's very pleased because he can now write his favorite letter, N. Now that we know how to write the letter N, let's take a look at the following words that begin with, you guessed it, the letter N. Do you know what this object is? A bird will make this object out of twigs and leaves. That's right! It's called a nest. Nest. N E S T. Nest. Well done. Let's say it one more time. Nest. N E S T. Nest. Did you enjoy that? Okay, here's another one for you to solve. Can you guess what this object is? It's small, grows on special trees, and comes in a hard protective shell. That's right! It's a nut! Now let's see what the word nut looks like. Nut. N-U-T. Nut. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's do it again. Nut. N-U-T. Nut. You've got two of the questions right. But will you find the correct answer to the last question? This one's tricky. 
Here's a clue. They're long, thin, and they're end monsters' favorite food. That's right. They're called noodles. And here's what the word noodles looks like. Noodles. N O O D L E S. Noodles. That's right. Let's say it together one more time. Noodles. N O O D L E S. Noodles. Can you think of any more interesting words that begin with the letter N? I hope you're feeling fit and active because it's time to do another fun packed ABC monster move. Hello, everyone. Clap your hands in the air if you want to have some fun. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? Now that you are warmed up, it's time to get active with the ABC monsters. Today, we'll be doing the N monster move. Watch Alice closely as she shows you what to do. It's easy. If Alice can do it, so can you. Are you ready? Here we go! Use your body to make a big N. That's it. That was easy, wasn't it? Are you ready to do it again? A big N. That's right! Now you know the move, all do it together! Are you ready? One, two, three, four! Two, two, three, four and three! Two, three, four, four! Two, three, four! That was easy, wasn't it? Let's see if you can do it again! Are you ready? Okay then! One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, and three. Two, three, four, four. Two, three, four. Fantastic! You're very good at doing the end monster move. Now let's take a short break to get your breath back so that you're ready for the next challenge the ABC Monster Quest. It's Nellie Neal. What are you doing here, Nelly? I need to sell some tasty nuts to my customers, but I'm lost and can't find the market where I left my nut stall. Don't worry, Nelly. We'll help you find your way back to the market. Can you help Nelly find her nut stall? Just fill in the box with the correct letter and help guide Nelly along the path. Listen carefully to the following questions. Can you tell me which is the correct letter to go into the box? Is it A, K, or is it S? That's right! The correct letter is S. Nest. N E S T. Nest. Here's another puzzle for you to solve. Are you ready? Which letter should we put into the box? Is it O? C? Maybe it's P. Fantastic! You've picked the correct letter again. The letter O. Well done! Noodle. N O O D L E Noodle Well done! Just one more puzzle to solve. Which letter do you think we should put into the box? Letter F? U? Or is it B? Correct again! The letter we need to put into the box is U. Nut. N U T. Nut. An excellent answer. Congratulations! You've successfully guided Nelly to the market. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! I 
hope you enjoyed finding out about the notable letter N. So let's finish today's show with a tune. Get ready to sing along to the ABC song as we say goodbye to Alice, Brian, Cherry Berry, and our very special star of the show, N Monster. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y N Z. Don't forget to join the Brainy Gang again for some more fun and adventures with the ABC Monsters. <laughs>